That minus 15 degree temperature that we had a few weeks ago may have you thinking that you may have some damage in your vegetable garden. We've been checking our carrot patch that we're overwintering here and they came through it just fine. Now the tops of some of them are a little bit soft and have started to break down, but further on down the roots are just fine. Some of them we found are still frozen, but if you're going to put them in a stew or something or cook with them right away, that'd be alright and they're perfectly safe to eat. Looking at some of these carrots, because we sowed them rather late, they didn't get really very large, but they are good quality. And one thing you may notice when you harvest some of your carrots is that their roots are split off, such as these. Now there are many factors that can cause this. One, uh, in gardens where nematodes are in heavy population, they can cause the roots to uh, be deformed, but they may have some knobby appearances on them. These, I'm more inclined to think, were either too crowded, such as this one, or possibly when that root was growing, when it got to this length, when it was a very tiny root, water was held back. Maybe the watering didn't get done for a few days and the roots stopped growing. And it's almost like pruning on a carrot root and they'll sprout out again into multiple roots. So sometimes it's a sign of poor watering or uneven watering in carrots. Otherwise, they pulled through the winter just fine. We have some to eat here for the next few days and some left that we're going to continue harvesting on through the winter time. Now if you're out in your garden and you have root crops that you want to check on, you might also look uh, at your garlic plantings. We planted garlic back in October and even though the tops have died back completely I dug up one of the roots and it's completely sound. It's perfectly fine but you might check yours and please be sure not to forget to water them because we are very short on rainfall. And other areas of our vegetable garden are cold frame is doing just fine. We have lettuce and spinach growing in there. One thing we want to caution you on with the cold frames, make sure that you lift the lid and water in there too because it does get very dry, especially because it's warmer than other parts of the vegetable garden. In your herb plantings, you may be concerned that you've lost some of the herbs in the cold. You can check them to see if they're still sound and healthy by wiggling some of the leaves, seeing if they're still limber. Rosemary is a good example. There's really on, only one variety that OSU knows of right now that's winter hardy in Oklahoma and that's the ARP variety of rosemary. Well, we have some here in our garden and the ARP, even though it has turned sort of a pinkish purple color, the leaves are still limber and tender so we think it's come through just fine. Our sage has a little bit of burn back from the cold but otherwise it's alright too. The other herbs have made it through just fine. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.